Hello everybody, welcome back. Today starts off another week of RLCS, and that means I'm going to do my predictions for them. Starting off, well, on NA of course, since NA's games are on Saturday, we have Energy versus Space Station Gaming. And I think this is an interesting game because Energy are obviously the favorites right there, basically dominating NA at the moment. Um, besides Cloud9, these guys seem like... Like, besides Cloud9 and G2, right? Like, these guys, I think, are the only other team that are really going to be able to contest Energy. And I don't think they're going to win. I th my pick is that Energy is going to win this. But, you know, I, I mean, even G2, I don't think, would be able to take Energy right now. But I think Space Station is, like, the closest chance that we have to actually seeing Energy lose in the regular season besides Cloud9. Um, I think it'll be a fun game. I think both teams are super fun to watch. So even if I expect Energy to take it, like, you know, maybe 3-1, um, I think it'll be a fun game to watch. And, of course, I'll be watching anyway, but I think it'll be a good game to start off the week. Next up we have Spice at Rogue. Um, this is a game defining season or season defining game for both teams, I think. I have this other tab open if I go over here. Splice, of course, um Oh, yeah, here we go. One and two and rogues 0 oh and two. And so neither team's really looking super hot. But I mean, do we really like I don't think Rogue is gonna get relegated, even if they do stay down in the relegation zone. But obviously Splice has only beaten Ghost, and they're not really a strong team, so it's not like a great sign of them for things to come but uh, it's like because Rogue has been playing okay if we look at their past results right they took Evil Geniuses to game 5 um, they took G2 to game 5 so like I think I think Rogue can take this but I don't know Spice has been playing kind of bad other than Ghost like they got 3-0'd by Cloud9 and 3-0'd by Energy so obviously those are two really tough matches to take and so I don't know how much I can judge their performance off of it, just like, you know, off, off of those two games. But even Ghost Gaming, who are arguably the worst team in NA at the moment, they took they had to take them to Game 5 to win. So my bet's on Rogue, but I wouldn't be terribly surprised if Spice can pull it out. And I think it would be a huge win for them. But I do have Rogue winning this one. Next up, Cloud9 versus Evil Geniuses. Um, hmm. I think... Drippe is much more of a star for them than I thought he'd be. Like, I thought he'd be good, but I didn't expect him to be, like, the focal point of their attack. Like, he, whenever I'm watching, it seems like he's the one putting in goals and stuff. Uh, of course, I do have Cloud9 taking this one. But Evil Geniuses, 1 and 2 at the moment in this season. Um, they're actually playing two matches today against Cloud9 and Energy, so that's rough for them. But I do think that Cloud9 will take this one. Evil Geniuses will put up a fight. Um... I don't think it'll go to game 5, but it possibly could. I don't think it will, but it'd be exciting to see. G2 first Ghost Gaming. Um, yeah, this is bad. What was it? Ugh, Illusion? Is he their third man? Oh, I'm going to check this out real quick. Yeah, it is Illusion. Okay. He's been... Nah, that's rude. He's been pretty bad this season. Like... He has, what, one goal in 14 games they've played? Something crazy like that? It's so bad. And, you know, the ca casters are saying, you know, Ghost are basically like, hey, we like your offense, come and join us, and play third man the whole time. And, you know, I think, like, Lethemir and Memory are just doing so much on offense that Illusion's not really getting the chance. Of course, it's Rocket League. Even if you are the quote-unquote defensive player in the team, you're still going to get opportunities, you're still going to get shots, and so it is important that you put them away when you do get them. And he really needs to pick it up if, you know, if Ghosts are going to stay up this season. I think worst comes to worst, they'll have to play the relegation tournament. But I still think Ghosts would stay up from that. Uh, G2 is going to take this one, though. Um, hopefully fairly easy. Like, they took Bread to Game 5, they took Rogue to Game 5. And they almost had to take Evil Geniuses to Game 5. But I think this will be their cleanest series yet. Um... I don't know, Ghost Gaming, it's like, they always seem like they could do well, but they're just, they just don't really. They're kind of, eh. Next up, we have Cloud9 at Rogue. Uh, Cloud9 second of the day, and Rogue second of the day. I have Cloud9 taking this one. It'll be fun to watch again. Um, if Rogue could pull out a win, it would be huge for them. But I don't see it happening anytime soon. Um, yeah, I think um, Cloud9 will take that one. And then... To finish off the day in NA, we have Energy against Evil Geniuses. At least I'm pretty sure that's the final game of the day. It is. Um, Energy's going to take this one too. It should be two wins for them. 
uh, against two of the pretty, like, you know, mid-tier to high-tier teams in NA, not in none of the elite teams, but two pretty good teams. Um, I think today is a good day for energy to prove that they are the best team in NA. Just, you know, because, like, you can't drop a series against the mid-tier teams if you want to compete for that top spot. Uh, I think energy will get it. It'll be a fun game to watch, though. I think it'll be, you know, both of those energy games will be very fun to watch. And then, all right, starting off with Triple Trouble versus PSG. Um, this one will be a fun one to watch, too. Like, I don't know, Triple Trouble had a pretty decent offseason. But now they're only 1-2. They lost to Mouse. But they did beat the Bricks. 